I say whoa, I mean whoa. But allow me to reintroduce. No, no, no. I mean, for do it like that. <laughs> Y'all already heard well, it in the first place, man. It, boy. We degenerates in this mother. Uh oh, we back. Allow us to introduce ourselves. My name is Dot Man. Theo Badass. You already know what it is, though. This guy don't make no sense. Hey, he don't make no sense. This game, <laughs> it's gay prank, man. Three thousand. This is a TOD slash degenerate degenerate gents, gents. podcast. Y'all know what it is. We'll be back, man. We back with that crack, man. Y'all already know, man. Like, share, subscribe one time, man. Yes, your boy is back. The light skinned thug, the, the Jim Jones wannabe. Yeah, mm -hmm. I heard what y'all said. Mm -hmm. Y'all know it. We are back by popular demand. Degenerate Gents is finally back after a two year hiatus. Hey, Bodega Boys, watch your back. Colin Hurd, all you other cats with podcasts. Watch your back. Oh, cause we, we back now. Back, bro. Y'all niggas finna be bad, but what we finna do, man. Yes, we are uncensored, unadulterated, unfiltered, unfiltered. We own it, man. This is how we do, man. We got the TOD podcast member Gabe Krezank and his boy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I told y'all it was going. I told y'all it was going to be a collab. Hey man, this is Gabe. Crank 3000. Yeah. You know what it is. Yeah. I'm always yeah. chilling with as that. Mm -hmm. You know, your boy Degenerate Jets in the building uh, today. Oh, right, we back. We back, man. It's still badass, man. Because Gabe ain't say his name, man. It's still badass in the background. Y'all know what it is, man. We back, back, man. We done heard all of the rumblings. We done heard all of the little. Oh, hey, you thought we were been? done. Oh, my God. Y'all thought we was done? Nah, nah. You know what happened? The world happened. That's what and happened. And then the minute that Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, we was we came out the grave. We knew it. We knew it. <laughs> we knew when Will Smith put his hands on the face of Chris Rock, we had to come back out. That, we that, that had means, to. That means we need to relive the sacrifice. Theo. Yes. I want you to stand right there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, bro, we knew we had to come back out with this hotness, man. We knew it, man, because we already knew. Y'all wanted to hear our opinions about what's going on. We already knew y'all wanted to hear us, our opinions about a whole bunch of these topics that's been going on. Oh, please, oh, please believe us. We got y'all. We got y'all. But what we need y'all to do is hit that like button, uh -huh. hit that subscribe button, and Top go ahead. Right. Top of the bottom. And slap a comment down because we need to know if y'all really, really missed us, man. Because we missed y'all, man. We missed the degenerate gents, man. We missed y'all, man. We here now. I'm we back. back. We is back, bro. Cook crack in this thing, bro. Brought to you by Pandemic Nation Studios. Uh oh. You already know what time it is. Uh oh. And, uh, let's run it, though. Uh -oh. Stop mama rapping. Yes. So, y'all, now that we back. Nick now that we right. we done reintroduced ourselves like Hova in this thing, and hopefully you know what I'm saying we gonna we gonna do some things so we don't get no copyrights in this boy boy. But now that we reintroduced ourselves, Theo's let not, us go ahead and reintroduce ourselves. I got one. Theo's not a huxtable. He's a cocksucker. I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all see we back with that. <laughs> we back with that. You know too, what bro. I do on my Saturdays? <laughs> It's my own business. None of your business, sir. <laughs> None of his business, man. But yeah, we back, yo. Yeah, we back with that kookiness. We back with that craziness. And I'm pretty sure y'all been wanting to know. Nobody got that job. <laughs> what we've been doing. I know y'all been wanting to know what we've been doing. So, this is how we going to do it for y'all. This one here, reintroduction. We're going to reintroduce ourselves and tell you what we've been doing for the last couple years. Nothing deep. 20 nothing, seconds deep. Yeah, nothing real deep. It's, yeah. it's not going to be that real deep. Oh, my God, we finna go into a, a super perspective about what pause. they've been doing. Pause. Yeah. Pause. No, pause. none of that. Pause, you know what I'm saying? Pause. Pause. Straight up pause. But we, we're not finna go into no long, drawn-out excuse of what we've been doing for the last two years. We're just no. going to update y'all on what we've been doing. So, we're going to go ahead and let Theo start off first because y'all ain't heard from my guy in about a couple years. So, let my boy Theo... Tell you what he been doing, thus fizzar. 
<laughs> Yo, oh, I've been traveling. After COVID happened, restaurants shut down, so yep. there was nothing going on. Not a damn thing. <clears throat> I know the podcast was cool, but you know we were like rookies. Yeah, we were. Yeah. yeah, we were. Don young rookies. <laughs> we were showing up rookies, bro. So we were just figuring shit out. Mm-hmm. After that, mm-hmm. like I ended up. <sighs> not a long story. Ended it fast. Ended up living in, in a shelter. Mm-hmm. Wow. Got cool. a contract. Yep. And then moving from state to state. Yep. The cool thing was the state to state thing made me see things that I never really got to see. I got to hang out in, you know, Minnes- Detroit. Detroit, yes. Colorado. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Like uh, Wisconsin. Seeing different stuff. Yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Like, shit was cool. <clears throat> yes. You know? Yes. And it gave me like an idea of what I, you know what I'm saying? Like as I, like I keep a journal. So it gave me an idea to like what I wanted to be, what I wanted to do. You know, and one thing is, I want to thank Dion because he was the first one who gave me the respect to start this, cha- you know, this show yeah, on yeah. his channel. Yeah. So, and he never lost respect to me. Like nope. he just let me float. He just let me do my thing. Yeah, I know. And then I'm back now. Yes, sir. Y'all know. That's long story short. Yep. Y'all already know. Y'all know how I do. Most of the people that know me know how I do. If I consider you fam, friend, brother sister cousin whatever it is we linked in until i'm going out this thing so y'all know degenerate just but never gonna die once it came no, about no, 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 no. we gonna keep that thing alive man so my boy theo he is back we gonna make sure we keep this thing going strong but next thing hold on uh, i see my cutty my cutty calling so we gonna we gonna have to we gonna have to wait for that <laughs> you know what i'm saying but yeah my y'all bad. yeah i haven't my nigga gabe he been on some things too so we gonna oh, oh yeah oh. while we off my boy my boy theo i already know y'all send a couple of cheers for my boy theo y'all comment in the in the comments badass is back you know what i'm saying give my man some like respect hit badass is back hashtag badass is back mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying y'all go ahead and do that now we gonna let gabe know I'm not Gabe now. Now we're gonna let y'all know from Gabe's perspective where he's been. Um, oh yeah. Oh. I, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, for the record, fuck deal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just so you guys know, I never invited him to this episode of the General <laughs> Gents. <laughs> Okay. This is a TOD <laughs> slash Degenerate Chance podcast collabo, man. We had to do it, man. You see when the, the quiet ones stay quiet. Everybody, we both back, man. We back, man. Everybody got to have a little Yo, place. give me two we claps. Back. Okay. Back, back, back. We back, baby. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Talking about, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Tell them where you been, Gabe. Tell them what, the what's mo- going on. The most degenerate gent that you can ever see in your uh-huh. life, your motherfucking life. Uh-huh. You, you feel you me? You heard him? You know what I'm talking about? But you heard I just been cooling like a motherfucking fan on the polar bear toe. Mm. You know that shit cool as fuck. Cool as hell. But it, you know what I'm saying? I just been cool and low key. Low key, bro. We doing our thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I've been on. No. See? And yeah. I'm really kind of like fucked up right now, so I might sound Because <laughs> <laughs> in the morning, I'm going to be like, damn. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying right now. He don't know what he's saying, but that's good. But it's good. I got one question though. Like, what, what's your grandma's house like feel like? Hey the man, basement? my grandma did. So fuck you. No, oh, no. Sorry. I was joking. Yeah, I'm we sorry. we joking, y'all. That, y'all see that's how we do. Oh, y'all, y'all needed that. Y'all needed that back in your life. Well, we like the Bodega Boys mini. You know what no, I'm saying? No, let's, no, we yeah. actually actually we not we not we not we ourselves. We're degenerate hey chance. Man, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're human oxymorons. Oh, I like that. Ooh. All right. So, my, my man Gabe been chilling. My man Theo been around the world fuck chilling you. right now. Me, I think y'all need a little update on me because I've been, I've been going away from the channel for at least a month or so. So, let me let y'all know what's been going on with me. Your boy Dot didn't change the whole format of everything. The channel podcast um reactionary videos not like you know not as usual reactions but commentary on certain type of things that's that's from the pop oh i didn't hit the cup with the watch <laughs> that sort of that shit from the pop Yo, um, you're blinging too much bro you're blinging too much 
Oh yeah, I, yeah, I, and I'm mad, man, cause I didn't crack my, I didn't crack my little face, man. So I'm finna have to fix the face of my watch, man. But I like to watch my wife up me for Christmas. Shout out to my baby. But um, I've been chilling, man. I didn't get my car, so I'm old. I'll be all over Florida now. So if y'all want to see me, y'all want to get together for a podcast. Me, Theo, me, Gabe, Crank, we can get to y'all. We both, we we all got cars. If Theo ain't with me. Gabe will be with me. If Gabe ain't with me, we all together. You know what I'm saying? You know how it go. So, that's how it go. So, I'm all over Florida. I'm mobile now. You know what I'm saying? Captain finally got his license back after 23 <laughs> years, bro. Nigga is feeling quite okay. You know what I'm saying? After getting his L's back after 20 some years, you know what I'm saying? And struggling to have them boys. So, yeah, we just, we, we just went on to you You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? We do, boy, we, we all gonna be riding. Riding oh, I got deep. legs. T- <laughs> <laughs> we all gonna be riding Tampa, you know what I'm saying? Miami. Never, never over Trump. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Especially if we got four of them. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So we we gonna be everywhere. So we gonna be getting at some of y'all cats. If I'm, you have, I swear. You, you remember old boy and them we, like from the uh, barber shop? Yeah. See, we can get at cats like that. Ain't gotta Easy. worry about it. Easily, easy money, bro. Easy, easy money, bro. We can get at them cats. Easy money, so we can get at y'all anywhere. You know what I'm saying? 100 percent legal. We got two, three cars in our own deck. So y'all want to be part of the podcast? Please go ahead and smack that subscribe button. Then leave a comment. That's your on name. the bottom. That's yeah. on the bottom. Y'all see that little red button right there with the subscribe letters? Mm-hmm. That's white in the middle. Smack that. Then y'all go ahead and leave us a comment because we gotta know who y'all is, man. And then you see that thumbs up thing yes. right underneath? Yes. Push that. Push it. Cause if you push it, that'll get up in the algorithm. The algorithm will say, hey, people like this video. They'll spin the video and then we'll be out there. We oh, trying yeah. to, we just trying to get out there. We just trying to teach y'all a little bit of something. Oh, something. Yeah. Hey, bro, stop touching me. <laughs> I'm like, are you okay, bro? <laughs> Gabe yeah. boy, be looking like he finna yawn or something. No. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, we back. Y'all already know how the generous do. We just be everywhere. But No, we we is everywhere. But this fucking cocksucker. Over here, <laughs> we we just, in, we. Bad. You know what? I'm in somebody's house right now. <laughs> and, and, and I don't feel right saying this shit. No, speak your feelings, bro. No. Gabe need water. But yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Now, now that we didn't reintroduce ourselves, man, and we didn't make y'all already know who he is. Y'all know who my boy Gabe is. Y'all know who my brother Theo is. We all fam fam in this thing thing. Now that y'all know we didn't reintroduce ourselves, we want to tell y'all what we gonna be going, what we're gonna be on going forward. Now, y'all remember back in the day. When me, me and Theo used to, say, we used to hit y'all with them hard hitting facts. Oh, that ain't stop. We gonna smack y'all with harder hitting facts. We gonna smack y'all with them raw type issues. We not finna do that. That little. We ain't finna do the little. Uh, the little marshmallow. Hey, we finna. You know what I'm saying? You remember when girl went down and did it? no. We didn't do none of that. What we doing is yo. You remember when your girl cheated on you last time and you took her back? We're going to tell you why you're stupid. Or we'll tell you why you're smart for it. You remember when them kids got blasted up at that old, that school? We're going to tell you why the, the cast that was stupid for doing it. And we're going to tell you why it was dumb that the lives was lost. That's what we hitting y'all with. We're not hitting y'all with no more of that. Hey, man, we want to know if y'all like us. All that. If you want to like us shit, that shit's out the door. We finna get y'all that shit that's gonna hit y'all straight in your mental. It's gonna have you thinking, and it's gonna have you start changing the process of your life. Cause that's exactly what we did. All of us about what? We've been on hiatus, what, two years, right, Theo? Yeah, about that. About about two years. We've been on hiatus for about two years. Now, none of us- A lot of growth, just so you know. Exactly, and none of us basically regressed in them two years. All of us progressed. And that's what we're trying to get our viewers, our people, the people we love, the people we uh, care about, the people that we want to see move forward as well. That's what we doing right now. 
We are pushing y'all forward with stuff that's gonna make y'all think critically. We not giving y'all no little pansy stuff about no social media type challenges, no social media type games, no none nah, of that. No, we're not here for the show. No. We're actually here for the progress. We here for the progress now. So now that we degenerate gents, we need the reason that we calling ourselves degenerate gents is because it's an oxymoron to bring y'all in to what we doing. Cause y'all thinking we finna we finna spit some crazy off the wall. What the hell is these cats talking about things? No. But then when you hit when you hit with the gents, we hit y'all with that knowledge. Of course we gonna be raunchy. Of course you're gonna have Gabe slumping over a table talking crazy every once in a while. Oh, yeah. Cause that's Gabe and that's what we need. That's what the that's what TDO <laughs> and degenerate gents is about. We hit just about being exactly who we are and trying to tell y'all our point of view because most of us think like y'all do we just don't say it as much because it's too it's too much hey 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 attention out here so when you don't get that hey 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 look at me we got attention out here you can sit down with a purple if you sit down with a person like my brother theo like my brother gabe right here and you can sit down and say hey y'all what do we think about these subjects you know what i'm saying like Gabe over here, y'all can't see it because we on the audio. This nigga Gabe over here, he looking like <laughs> like Captain Caveman Kong Yo, right now. Have you ever seen the episode of Cops? <laughs> yes. <laughs> have you ever seen the episode of Cops where the disgruntled driver got pulled got over? Pulled over? And they ready to snap? That's how Gabe <laughs> look right now. He looks like that <laughs> but, right now. <laughs> but you know what? TDO and Degenerate Gents, that's how we do, man. That's how we do it. Oh, it's it's, it's called being natural. We trying to be natural. We trying to be natural. Hey, listen, listen. Oh, here we go. I was just being gay just then. See? He was being gay, but that's what we want y'all to be. We want y'all to be who you are. Not, and just uh, listen uh, uh, to uh, us. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Not gay. Gabe. Gabe. He said that. Yeah, that's what I said. No, I had a little God damn, bro. <laughs> and this nigga is Take two bad. shots less next time. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's how we that's how we trying to do, man. We trying to bring y'all just the realness and the rawness of what we talking about. Subjects is gonna be subjects. This is a real deduction, so we not finna try to draw y'all into no subject. We just trying to tell y'all that hey, listen, we done made some progress and we finna come super hard now. Just because this is what we trying to do. Everybody else got, we got the outside business taken care of now. It took us a while, but we got the outside business taken care of. Now, we hitting on the inside business. This the inside business. Go ahead, Theo, I know you, I know you been, y'all been wanting to hear from my nigga <laughs> Theo, man. Go ahead and talk to him, Theo. All right, okay. So, as I traveled my planes and done my thing, right? Yes, sir. There was one line that I remember, like during everything I went through. Okay. Plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty of fish. I like that saying, though. I Get like that saying? saying, bro. I love that saying, bro. But the thing is that, as a man, right? Yeah. Like, and it's something that's weird. I get it. People get married. People got a solid thing. Yep. I mean, I went through mad relationships, you know? Yeah. Like, I ran through it. Like, yeah. it didn't even matter. I yeah. feel that. So, here's something that mattered to me now. Like, you got to respect what you do. You got to respect your your work. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. So, I mean, I mean, dudes, if you listen to this, relationships are like a pro fisherman, if you get what I'm saying. Yes. You go yes. out there. You get what I'm saying? You hunt. Mm -hmm. You spend times on a lake. Bait. Bait, everything. Oh, you know? yeah. And the best bait, you get what I'm saying? Gets the best fish. So... True enough. Now you gotta dress nice, you gotta look nice, you gotta smell nice. Okay. That's the bait. That's the bait, yeah. You ain't lying. You so you pull them in. So you pull them in. Mm. Yeah, see, so you reel them in. Reel them in. And the next thing you know, now you're looking pretty. Mm. Like, you looking good. And then on top of that, you take pictures with your fish. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, you post with. it. You know yeah, you pose with it. You, you know what it is, Gabe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My nigga Gabe know what it is. What? And then Holes like, with your fish. And then you know what you do at the end of it? At the end of it? You put them back in the water. Put them back in the water. You know that's what we do. As soon as you take them off the hook, throw them back in the water. So, one thing I realized is that, I mean, I apologize to females who think there's actually a solid ass relationship and everything, but 
Sometimes it ain't. Some no, you gotta realize sometimes you're just a prize. Yeah. At the moment. Mm-hmm. You're just a moment. Yeah. A momentary prize. Oh, I ain't never thought about it like that. See, <laughs> I did. I didn't. I didn't. I've never thought about it like that. Like just being a monetary, a momentary prize in the moment, but not seeing past the moment and seeing further. I've been learning that shit since since these couple last couple of years too. I've been kind of learning that. I've been stubborn and not being able to look past my own strengths and realize I still got some weaknesses. And once you realize that you still got a few weaknesses, that can make you a little bit stronger in basically the aftermath of things. Because what I was seeing is that sometimes, you know, we, we may not be in a situation where we need to harass or inflict no bodily harm or no aggression one yeah for simple reasons yeah now we figured that we didn't climb the ladder enough that we can basically brush brush that under the rug type thing and it's not even brushing off the rug it's throwing it off the cliff type thing well it's like it's not like we disregarded you, you yeah what i'm saying it's like we captured you yeah got you got you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we took a picture with you. Like we put it on the gram. It's captured. We put it on the book. It's a moment. And then, but we know what we're doing. We're gonna just catch another one. Yeah, yeah. We throwing. We we trying to put a, uh, some more bait on the hook to go ahead and cast that out to see what else we can do. And you know that's what they like us. And the funny thing is, <clears throat> sorry. The funny thing is, is the fact of. The things that they like you at the end of the breakup, at the end of the relationship, is the reason why they hate you. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the majority reason why they dislike you. That 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 little cute, oh my God, he, he, he attracts nice, me. Yeah, he yeah, attracts yeah, me he with the cologne and yeah. everything. That becomes the weapon to repel you away. Because now the girl like, I don't like his cologne. It stink. I don't like the way he dressed. It's, it's, it's ugly. I don't like the way he talked to me now. It, it seems disrespectful. But all in all, before, that was the thing that attracted that him to you. That, that's the thing that led him right to you. So now, the thing that led him right to you is the same thing that's propelling him away from you because that's an excuse. That's using an excuse. People who care about you, the thing that attracted them to you is the thing that's gonna make them keep you. It's not. It's not the thing that's gonna make them push you away. The thing that make uh, the people who do that are making excuses for themselves because they're not sure that they're making the right decision. But they're trying to reinforce themselves by saying, "Hey, okay, he wear too much cologne. I don't like how clean he keep his shoes. I don't like how dirty he keep his shoes. I don't like how dirty he keep his clothes. I don't like how clean he keep his clothes. All that stuff can become weaponary. You know what I mean? You could." draw that out and be like Ugh, I don't, I don't want to do this no more and then once you drop that weapon and you look and you be like god dang that was the nigga that was helping that was the nigga that was kind of saving me from all this other craziness I'm going through oh my god I just lost out you know what I'm saying so now that's how you got a lot of relationships now I'm telling you a lot everybody, of relationships like that now everybody wants to get saved man everybody want to be saved but don't nobody want to jump off the bridge to save nobody. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's a true ass point. Everybody wants to be saved. Everybody don't want to be that person to jump off the bridge to save the person because they're not sure they're gonna make it. On the top of that, can I get a double horn on that? Mm -hmm. Dion, we'll put that in there for yep. uh, shout wham, out to wham, Amber. on that. Uh, shout out to Amber Heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Showing what really was going on between like Joe Goofy behind girl. Yeah. Goofy. We're seeing it happen right now. So really, like it's masculine intelligence, like what we're trying to give right now. Yeah. Between what the slap with Will, like we joked about it. Yeah. And the Amber Heard whole trial with Johnny Depp thing. Mm -hmm. Like we're really just kind of keep our respect. And the reason why we came back was because people speak, but nobody's talking about it. Yeah, people speaking, but they're not really <laughs> talking about it. So here we are. Yeah. <laughs> we finna we finna bring that back to y'all, man. The Amber Heard case, oh yes. And Johnny Depp case, 
Yes, we gonna bring that to y'all. We're gonna talk that about that. The Will Smith and the Will Smith, Jada and Chris triangle. Oh, we won't <coughs> definitely gonna talk about it. Monique and what she been doing in the last oh, couple DL. months. We most definitely are going to be talking oh, we about back. that. We back, so we got a lot Super of time to talk hard, about this. bro. Yes, we doing audio now. Oh, don't don't get that twisted, man. Face cams, all that is gonna be back. Live streams, all that is gonna be back, I man. I got so many outfits. Oh my goodness, I got so many outfits. <laughs> I got so much new stuff and new whatever it is that y'all need. It's finna pop off. We're gonna be doing the same thing that we used to do, but it's going to be upgraded now. Yo, shout out to Dion for looking so like, Gum Diesel for no reason. Yeah, we bring it back. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, yeah, nigga been losing weight. Outfits about to look on point for boy, this boy. Boy, <laughs> boy, y'all playing, boy. It's summertime, so I had to get right for the summer. You know what I mean? Get the summer body going on. Cut out all the sugar. Cut out all the unnecessary uh, toxins that you put in your body. Cut off all of that, man. Get you What'd some you alkaline. Do? You just cut off sugars. Or? I cut off uh, sugar, salts, um, meat. A lot of meats, um, breads, and I stopped eating before I went to bed. <clears throat> okay. I cut all that off. All right. Cool. So I, after cutting all that off, I, I've been getting myself back to uh, my ideal weight. I'm I'm finna be 40 some. I said 40 some. 41. A young G finna be 41 next week, next Monday. Matter of fact, I don't know what you're doing next Monday. I'm told Gabe having a birthday party at a park. Yeah, he's done having a birthday party at my at the park. So come holla at me, y'all. Y'all get the uh, y'all get the information. I wish we had the video right now so yeah. we can see what Gabe's doing. Right now. This boy linked, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm yeah. finna be I'm finna be 41 <laughs> yeah, next. Uh, right, bro. <laughs> finna be 41 next week. You know, you know, okay, 27. Though, that's a question. Oh, you good? And it just Gabe, <laughs> but yeah. I'm finna be 41 next year, so I mean not next year. Why I say next year? I'm finna be 41 next week. Next year I'm moving to 42. But it don't matter. Age ain't nothing but a number. As long as you got the same intelligence and that shit is growing, then you'll be young forever. But that's what we doing now, y'all. We bring y'all the hardest hitting topics. Also, we're gonna talk on that Monique subject about her telling black women to be submissive to black men and, and let them train him we really don't talk about that as a father with two daughters i got something to say about oh. that like a motherfucker i want to talk to you about that yeah so my me myself like i also have a daughter right yeah <clears throat> that's what i'm gonna say <laughs> sorry i laughed <laughs> sorry. this is why i know you were hope because God's gift is showing you things that you need to represent. So the fact that you got daughters, yeah, makes you respect. Yeah, what women. You, did. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you ain't got more. no sons, right? No, no, I ain't got no son. I had How two many daughters? daughters? Two daughters. Two. Yeah. Use a hoe, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I already know. That's what. That's what. That's what. Uh, the, the basically, that's what the legend says. Uh, if a man has more, if a man has daughters, that means that he was either a womanizer, a player, or he had sex with a lot of women back yeah. in the day. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just happen to have two of them, so that just proves that if, if we going by them standards, that just proved that I was just doing stuff. You know what I mean? But I don't think that's really. I think what it is is because. When men have daughters, it's basically the most high telling us, listen, you need you need to you need to respect women a little more because you're going a little bit too fast, or I'm gonna put this little girl in your life to show you how to respect women just a little bit more. Yeah, but and yeah, that's, that's, that's why that's I got your, two daughters. That's your queens, you know. Yeah, but I don't thing, let somebody disrespect your queens. Exactly, and yeah. I'm a protector. So what God did was He was like, "Yo, since you are a protector, and that's what you do, I'm going to give you two daughters to give you a reason to keep on being in the protector mode." So I appreciate, 
I appreciate the most high giving me nah, nah, you ain't too young. It, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to dodge that, man. I was trying to dodge that whole little thing, man. I was trying to dodge it. You already know we got to cut that shit off. Nah, but we you, got 20 seconds on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got a few seconds. But, you know, they're going to still hit us, but it, it's not going to stop the It ain't going to stop us, nothing. Catch us. Yeah, it ain't going to stop nothing, man. Y'all, you, you said it, you said, oh, yeah. This is a mirror, all kind of podcasts be using references like that. So y'all all right, man. Y'all are y'all here when y'all here, man. We we all good. Whoever gotta get paid for the ludicrous, if you gotta get paid for that little snippet, nigga, we gonna do it. But we finna still make money outside of this one. So do what you gotta do. <laughs> but we back, man. We degenerates, man. But we gentlemen at the same time. Cause we can get loose. We can start cracking knuckles and bing bing binking. Or we can just sit there and talk to you like you got common sense. But all of these topics, man. Oh, the, the trial, the Amber Heard trial, the June, uh, not June, I'm sorry, January, January 6th trial. Most definitely finna have something to say about that. I also have something to say about um the Southern workforce. Cause I'm starting to see a pattern within the Southern workforce. And I'm going to elaborate on that a little bit more later on. I'm not going to even give you all a snippet of what I'm talking about now, but I'm finna talk about the labor force because I don't know if a lot of people have been seeing what I've been seeing, but I'm about to tell you all about something that I've been really seeing out here in this little the workforce that's been kind of crippling a black man like me from steadily going out here and trying to get these corporate jobs, bro. And most of y'all people might know what I'm talking about, but hopefully a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about when I expose the subject. But is this about me? No, no, no. Okay. This this is about this is about a color thing, bro. This this is about what I've been seeing about. It's a racial thing that's happening within the workforce here in America, and what I think it is is these corporate people are trying to weed out black people and, and any other person of color besides <coughs> Latinos, Asians, and white people from the workforce. So, and I have evidence in more to prove that the Southern workforce is, is trying to really enforce it. So I got uh, a few things to say about that, but we gonna, we gonna leave that for the, for the very next one. So. <clears throat> yeah, but just so you know, man, like, bro, yeah, like expertise, like me and Dion met, like D. Witty met, back when he was a chef yeah you know what i'm saying and homeboy's been chefing it up ever since i've known him yeah so so what he's doing is expertise yeah so the fact that somebody would discriminate my boy yeah it, it, like it's it's ludicrous bro it's a it's a lot shout out to use a hoe <laughs> yeah yeah shout out to that man because that is but ludicrous, it doesn't make up. sense yeah it's starting it's starting to be a problem within the work we're in a lot of people are seeing it. I know a lot of people are seeing it, but I'm I'm just gonna bring it to the forefront because that's the new shit that we coming with. If you don't hear it on General Gents, you're gonna hear it on TDO. You know what I'm saying? Either way, go. When he wakes up. I'm bringing it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> the Discreet Ones, no. Actually, what the Discreet Ones podcast is, I'm gonna let y'all know about that. General Gents is back. Y'all make sure y'all tune in to us. Are like, back, boy? share, subscribe all the time. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, the TDO podcast, basically discreet ones. That's a podcast with it's topics, basically all some of the same topics. You got different topics. It's a million topics out here, so you can never cover the same topic um, one time. It's always something I hear that's another angle. Yeah, it's always something I hear that's gonna need to be explained. It's gonna need to be talked about. It's gonna need to be brought to the forefront. So what we doing with the TDO one, the discreet ones? The discreet ones podcast is basically just bringing out all subjects and we holding back a little bit. The degenerate gents one. That's me boy, and my boy D Witty. That's for me and my brother Theo let loose. We going loose. You know I got no filter, bro. I'm like the None. blade of brown skin boys. Sting. <laughs> None. We going all out telling you niggas what we ball about and that's what it is. So so you gonna get 
what everything. you need. You're going to get everything. You're going to get what you need, the wholesomeness from the from the TDO podcast, and you're going to get that raunchy, nasty from the Degenerate Gents podcast. Because I give zero fucks. Zero, man. Like a hole in your a donut fucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what we own. Can you see it? It's like a butthole, bro. Like it's yep. nothing. Nah, I think y'all can put your tongue in it. I don't know. Let me shut up. Cause that's but too we much. ain't gonna shut it down, bro. We no. ain't gonna do anything. No, we not. We not shutting it down. We not shutting it up. I actually tell Dion, like, bro, I'm not gonna stop till they they tell us to not do it anymore. Yep. Until they tell us to not do it no more, then we finna keep going. So y'all, we gonna wrap this up, cause. I gotta edit this, uh-huh. and I'm trying to. I gotta make sure I'll <laughs> take like three days on this. But you hey, already know what it is. Man. I missed you guys. Yes. I missed everything. Yes. Like, I'm sorry we gave you guys two seasons just disappeared. My bad. You know, but you know things happen. You gotta restructure yourself. You, you know? know we do. But you know, it takes a village to build a. What, 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 what it takes a say? village. It takes a village to raise a, a child. Yeah. Takes a village to raise a child. And Degenerate Gents is the baby. Yeah, like, we the baby. Yeah, we just so. came out of nowhere. And now we we got the village back, man. The village well, is back. We just want to say thank you so much. Good looking. And thank you for asking for us. Good so looking. Now we're here. We back. And yes. We'll give you the guarantee, the content, yes. and everything you need. All that. Within retrospect. We give you <laughs> all of that. We bringing the real stuff, bro. January 6th. We bring we bring back the midterms. We on all of that, man. Yeah. We trying to be on all of that. So y'all, make sure you tune in. The ones that's not tuned in, what are y'all doing? But we really? raunchy over here. Come on over here, man. We gonna talk about all that. Y'all gonna be hearing all of that. What y'all wanna hear? Right here. I know all them other podcasts is funny. Ha ha. You got uh, super good production and all that. Ha ha. Cool. We gonna have all that too. All that's coming to we doing the audio right now because this is the reintroduction, so we're reintroducing ourselves to y'all. But oh, please believe, <laughs> please believe, <laughs> live streams coming, please believe, face cam coming, please believe, we gonna have more guests, women, men, popular people. We finna do all of that. This shit is not going to slow down this time because if y'all little whack. Um, podcasting cats can get out here and get two, three million subscribers by spitting garbage and regular TikTok BS. And we nah, know you buy them. So yeah, we yeah, know you we be know, buying your we shit. Know you buying it. So we we going organic, nigga. Just made it to fourteen hundred organically. We want to see the real numbers. Yeah. So all our fans, our fans from day one. What y'all got? Eh? Okay, that's what we thought. Degenerate Gents in this motherfucker. Y'all know what it Boom. is, man. Brrrr. cat. This your boy. Top. Dot. And. It's your boy, Theo Badass. You already know what it is. <laughs> Y'all got my boy, Gabe Crank, over there. This is a TDO slash Degenerate Gents. Actually, I'm going to flip that. Degenerate Gents slash TDO production, aka feature. We out for the night. Y'all go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, comment. We need this thing to rotate because uh, we not playing this shit, bro. We finna just come with all type of, but we got a big controversy. It's going to be controversy out here. I talk about people and I will manhandle one of you cats. Man. Okay, man. okay. next episode, let me tell you about gay marriage. Yep. Uh, what I feel about politics. Yep. What I feel about certain presidents. Yep. What I feel about. Oh, uh, economy, mm-hmm. what I think about like, the status of what's going on. Yep. Why is meat costing me twice as much? Why do I have to pay twice as much for gas? Why? Like, we got to talk about this shit. We got to say something. I just got a car, man, and y'all cast just decided y'all want to raise all the taxes on gas and everything. Just when I get a car, just when I get my license back, y'all decide y'all want to be, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm sorry. Let the That's voices my fault. speak. Let the voices I, I'm speak. I'm happy that I got a car now. I apologize, man. This is Degenerate Chess, man. Y'all already know who he is, man. This is your boy, Top Dot, man. I got my man, Theo Badass, a.k.a. Right my here. brother. And I got my sleepy brother, Gabe Crank, over here, man. Once he gets T-D-O up. D-D-O slash D-G. Degenerate Chess, man. We out, man. I don't know what y'all cats on, but 
Like, share, subscribe, man. We out. We out. Push every button. All of them, man. Listen to Gabe snore. <laughs> we gone.